Good evening. So I've been out for a lovely walk today around the uh, Peak District, walking along the Great Ridge and eating in a great pub afterwards. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to show what I've done to my 2008 Toyota Prius, which is install wireless Android Auto. So this was a device that cost me about 140, 145 pounds from AliExpress. Bought it last year along with a small adapter because I have the JBL stereo. So the JBL stereo means that it's the amplifier is digital and requires a digital signal. So I needed another box, it's about £25 to be able to link the analog output from the Android Auto head unit into the digital stereo. Anyway, I don't have all the pictures for that, for what I did, but I can show you how well it actually works. So. Um, at the moment it's all off so this is how it looks at the moment and if i start up my car you should see how this so you can see actually how this is integrated into the into the car so it's removed the cd unit uh the jbl cd unit and all down here this this all plastic all came with it uh, as a as one well this is a separate piece but it all fits fairly well I and mean, you can see a join but it's not too bad so it fits in with the rest of the Toyota Prius so it doesn't look too bad I mean there are some edges that are a bit you can see there sticks out say on the other side but overall I'm really really happy with it so if I just start it up so you can see uh, Toyota's pretty And you can see it's got, this is its standard sort of um, head unit display and it shows things like your current speed or what have you. But that isn't really why I got it, it's this. So now it's connecting to my phone. This is entirely wirelessly. I'm holding my phone right now to film this. No cables connecting it. And we now have Android Auto running. So... Oh, and you'll turn into... By the way, I have actually got... <laughs> steering wheel controls I you can map is one of the apps you can actually map between buttons and so I've mapped mode to be a pause yes yeah, so that's paused it so that was a podcast I had playing earlier on the way here but yeah I can map different buttons unfortunately I haven't been able to map this speaker one if I press that I think it ends up when I tried mapping it to voice control it was voice control for the head unit, but not for the Android Auto part, which is kind of annoying. And I really wanted it to basically do Google. I can press that button there though. That does the Google voice thing. So when you have Google Maps like this, and bear in mind, this is set for right-hand drive. That's why I have the controls down the right here. But when it's like this, it's possible to press this button here. And then I can see my podcast and my map. Just tap the map. It goes back to just the map and of course likewise and tap on the podcast and just get the podcast back up but you can also press these dots here and then i can see all my apps that are available go back to here see the map and one of the really nice things is if i then switch on the headlights this goes into dark mode so it's not so blinding um all in all this has been such a good purchase for me being able to have wireless android auto i don't have to uh, plug it in I can just leave it in my pocket and it will just connect it was fairly straightforward to install I did need to use I think it's a 68 ohm resistor in order to be able to get the steering wheel controls but also the uh, air conditioning climate control that didn't work without that 68 ohm resistor it is quite essential um, but for what less than 200 pound spend uh, it's been absolutely brilliant and its reliability has been excellent um, yeah, not much more to say than that, other than I think if I were uh, in a car without a reverse camera already, I would probably explore installing a reversing camera because you can get them through these head units. Uh, I've not done it for this because it already came with one in this car. Okay.